Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Kyle. Welcome back to another episode of DIY Buildouts. Hey, during this quarantine, I'm tackling a whole bunch of household projects. And the one on the list the wife keeps asking for is converting these kitchen cabinets to soft close drawers. So down here in our kitchen, we actually have soft close drawers. And those are really nice. But up here, we have these big old clunky ones. Ugh. So I'm gonna change that. I've already put in one over here so you can see the end result. Here we go, ready? And I'm gonna show you how I did it for only $40. And yes, $40, I am going to take care of this entire kitchen. Watch this, ready? Bum, bum, bum. All that, plus all of this. So if you wanna see how I do it, stay tuned. So this install is really easy because I bought the hardware that has the soft close hinge in it. It's a little hydraulic piston there that slows the closure of the door. So there it is. And when it has weight on it, it actually closes. So there we go. And we're just swapping out this mechanical part on the wood itself. And what I'm pulling off looks like this. So you can see the difference right here in the part that goes in the door. This is the soft close. This is not the soft close. And again, watch, you gotta watch your fingers when you close this one, because bam, <laughs> it's like a mousetrap. Yeah, well, that's basically why your door slams. Where's this one? Nice and easy. So that's what you're looking for. It's a soft close hinge. Now, if your kitchen cabinetry doesn't close perfectly square, you can actually adjust these hinges. And that's the beauty of them. Inside here, you have this screw, which can take the cabinet door up or down, and this screw, which can take the cabinet in or out. And all of these adjustments allow you to get it so that your two doors align with a perfectly symmetrical gap. One final tip for you guys is you don't have to use two soft close hinges to make a door close softly. Here I have the upper one as the original and the bottom one as a soft close and you can see it still shuts nice and easy. Okay guys, that's all for this video. Before you head out, I need you to do three things for me. First, I need you to leave me a comment below about any of your questions or concerns on this video and also leave me a comment about any future videos you wanna see. Second, I need you to hit that like button so that YouTube promotes this video and other people can learn how they can convert their kitchen cabinetry to soft closed kitchen cabinetry. And the third and final thing is make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you become part of the DIY Buildouts Nation. It's a fast growing DIY community that'll teach you all sorts of wonderful things. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.